Hello. So my name is Robert Janito, and I have I have a meeting coming up with Ernest Brooks, and Ernest Brooks is he's a guy who's eating a lot of fruit, and I'll let you I'll let him tell you more about himself. And so this is a talk that I'm doing to help people who have any health questions. Um, it, no medical advice or anything like that, because to be frank, the whole medical world is a scam. Um, it's, you know, it can be helpful, but the philosophy is not really a helpful and progressive philosophy. So I have no interest in sharing any advice like that. And, you know, if I did, you know, if I did, people want to get crazy legally. So heck no, this is health advice and, um, and really maybe not even advice, maybe just stories. <clears throat> Excuse me. So while I wait for um, while I wait for Ernest here, I'll let you know I just had a meal of peaches that I'm really happy about. And I have some water with me. Um, this is not a paid promotion, but I do want to tell you Penta water is something that I've been drinking for a long time, uh, more than 15 years. Uh, some people who are really in tune with their taste buds can tell that this is, um, they can tell how different it tastes. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that. It's the only water I found that claims to be free of a lot of crazy stuff. Um, additive free, chromium six free, arsenic free, pharmaceutical free, pharmaceutical free, fluoride free, MTB free, chlorine free, uh, sodium bicarbonate free. It has less than one part per million dissolved solids. That's insane. Um, like Fiji water, um, actually, I don't even remember how much Fiji water has. Um, I believe it's in the 200s part per million of uh, dissolved solids. Uh, Voss water, the glass bottle of Voss water that's from some Scandinavia country, uh, that has like 70 something parts per million of dissolved solids. And this has less than one part per million. So that's kind of nuts. Uh, the more hydrated you are with fruits that have like perfectly structured water and penta water and stuff like that, uh, the more hydration you have. That, that really keeps things like, it's like the oil for a car, or it really keeps things uh, hydrated in your body. Uh, but hydration itself is all about intracellular hydration. Sure, it's good for things in your gut and your stomach and such to be diluted or, or to move better through your body. That's great hydration, but the hydration that is going to help you the absolute most is intracellular hydration. And that's really hard to get really hard to get most water you drink um, <clears throat> and I think it would be better if I came up with um, different experiments shared with you different experiments that will show you this but um, a lot of waters that you drink pretty much any water you drink you absorb very little of it because very little of it is oh you absorb very little of it intracellularly because a lot of that water it's really not even structured for your own use for example the water that you microwave so the water content of your oatmeal or something. That is, um, it's not going to go in too easy into your body. Oops, I accidentally clicked that. So, uh, that was dishonest of me. <laughs> not the intracellular part, that wasn't dishonest, just something else. Um, uh, honesty is something that I pay a lot of attention to, by the way. So, okay, uh, I'm not sure where Ernest is, but I'll stop the video for now. Oh, you know, nah, I'll keep it going until Ernest comes. For any people who have known me like three years ago, you'll notice that I am a uh, um, I weigh a lot more than I did like two to three years ago and it's totally not is totally not muscle weight at all I definitely had more muscle when I weighed 115 pounds than the muscle I have now which is almost which is more than 170 it's a lot of junk in me yeah I have a lot of junk <clears throat> I've really gone through a um, like an emotional journey since the raw fruits and more hydration and raw eating you know you can you can clean so much of that but raw foods you can't clean your emotions with raw foods 
like the, all those emotions stuck in your body, you have to, you can only clean that with your own will, with your very own will and your mind programming, all the false beliefs that you have. You have to find these false beliefs to do this and uh, being more hydrated and which includes uh, a diet of fresh or ripe and or ripe fruits, uh, fruit and vegetable juices, uh, good water. This isn't the only really good water I recommend, by the way, but this is one of them. This is a staple. Those things will get you more in tune with your emotions. They'll get you more in tune with how you feel about how other people act and such. So, um, so I went, I've been going on that journey for a little more than two years, very active on that journey for about two years. And sorry, it was three to four years ago I started eating fruitarian. And uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing how much we use food and other distractions and lie to ourselves and lie to others and have a facade just so that we can avoid our emotions. And that's exactly why anybody lies. And that's exactly why so many people make decisions in their life that they wish they didn't make. So, so I gained a lot of weight with that. Um, being more willing to feel emotions, I did do that. <clears throat> you, and the good news is you can be aware of your emotions and work on things emotionally. You can do that while you are, um, while you're not having the best water or while you're not having just fruits and vegetables or just fruits, or even, um, even while you're fasting, you can, you can ignore your emotions while you're fasting. Uh, so you could be eating some pretty crappy food and you can still, you can still acknowledge some of your emotions and process things emotionally. Um, I have a feeling they have to get pretty, I, I don't know. I have a feeling that emotions will get pretty strong uh, when you're eating drug foods or doing drugs. Um, not that that's what I'm seeing here, but um, so I've been on that journey for the last couple of years of processing things emotionally and I've gained a good amount of weight. And the last two weeks have been my first time, well, not first time, been doing intermittently the last two weeks i've been eating mostly fruit and having juices the only thing outside of fruit that i've been having is some oatmeal here and there and some rice here and there come on in come on over oh my god i am very hungry <clears throat> ernest is not here yet so i'm just recording hmm? Ernest is not some first person I was gonna to talk to is not <coughs> you made this for me? Yeah, you look beautiful. <laughs> yeah, you look really beautiful. Wow. This is perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I wish there could be a lot of light on this. Uh, and salads. I've been eating a good amount of salads. This is while I wait for Ernest, um, just chatting about like emotions, processing, eating fruit. And salad. And being honest and stuff, and salad. <laughs> I'm going to pause this though so we can chat. Okay.